Welcome back to our adventures out of Cusco, Peru. Our adventure this morning started at 4 a.m. where we were picked up from our Airbnb by Alpaca Expeditions. And they drove us out to Alpaca Valley, which is home to some indigenous Inca people that raise their alpacas here in the valley at the base of Rainbow Mountain. We're gonna climb Rainbow Mountain and then head over to Red Valley, which is right next to Rainbow Mountain. Rainbow Mountain is over 16,000 feet high, so the air is going to be pretty thin. Let's hope we survive this hike. We're at Rainbow Mountain. It's over 16,000 feet at the top. You can rent horses if you don't want to hike it. We're going to try to hike. A lot of breath already. We're just getting started. Come on, babe, work that booty. 15,000 feet. 59, almost 16,000. The rest of our crew is kind of slacking, so uh, our guide said to bench around without him. He said he'll meet us at the top, so we're on our own, on our way. Made it, babe. Top of Rainbow Mountain. 16,000 feet. We made it 5,036 meters high. <laughs> it's absolutely breathtaking up here. I'm not sure if the photos will do it justice, but this is the fam famous Rainbow Mountain. It's all different colors. It was covered in ice until 2000 when it was discovered that it looks like this. This is why the trek starts at 4 o'clock in the morning coming from Cusco, because people come from all over the place to get here and just by the thousands. So it does get uh, quite crowded if you're not here early. We are at Red Valley and this is included in our Rainbow Mountain tour. Welcome to... Red Valley. All right, walking up to Ross at Red Valley. Look at him so excited. It's amazing out here. It's amazing how few people are on this one compared to over at Rainbow Mountain. Definitely feels more personal. Highly recommend doing this side of it as well. Our guy was just like, yeah, we're just straight down the mountain to down here. So we slid down to this point, and then now we're just walking through nowhere. <laughs> On the squishy ground, because this uh, moss stuff is nice and squishy. Look at the kick, neck, tile. It's like a that's like a tie in the chest. Wow! This is the big llama. This is the shaggy llama. Yeah. Longest snout, straw llama. He can carry on 45 pounds. Where does that come from? 